MinSwap V2 is on its way and I know a lot of people have been a little bit upset that and saying oh MinSwap are lagging behind and not implementing their V2 version of their decks with upgraded smart contracts which are much much faster and trust me it's on its way. MinSwap's taking a very cautious approach and looking at security first to ensure that everything is perfect on their platform. Last thing you want is a buggy platform going out there and people trading meme coins going crazy and things just not working as they should. This is the official announcement now. We do have the Minstop V2 on public test net and you can start playing around with it. They do have a bug bounty at the moment as well so you can uh, test out the test net and find any sort of bugs, report them and earn some rewards in the process. How much is that particular bug bounty? It is 99,000 ADA, so well worth giving the platform a really good test, trying to find those bugs and report it to the team. So I highly encourage that you do uh, give it a test and see if you can break what they have there. Now, I've been playing around with the platform myself. It is much nicer in terms of its UI design. It's very clean as it is. But let me give you an overview of some of these really cool features that they have on the platform. Now the first one here, let me just swap some tokens over and you notice a couple of little features here and this makes the trading experience a little bit more advanced for people that know how to use them. So the first thing that you may see here, uh, you we already know about market orders where you can trade for the current market price. We have limit orders where you can set a price to buy or sell in the future. Uh, at a certain price. Now, the other ones that they have here is a nice little stop loss now. So if the price of the token that you are trying to trade for, so in this case, let's go sell 100 ADA for min tokens. If it falls below a certain price, so let's say it drops below 5%, I can cap in my profits at that point. So if the price of min drops by 5%, I can sell uh, sell it at that point and lock in the profits that I've just made. So really nice little feature that they've added. They also have these other features here as well, such as the partial fill and the OCO. Now I love the OCO feature because you can do another really complex trade here. So let's go 100 ADA uh, for the amount of min and you can set the limit price of what it may sell at. So the limit price, let's go above market. So let's go above 10% of its current market price. So now it will look and say, oh, if min's gone up, let's sell at that point and get some of the profits. But it also has that stop loss in there to protect you if the price goes down. And I can set that at 5%, for example. So if it drops below 5%, I can sell and I can stop my loss at that point. So lovely feature here. You can set the expiry time. Let's expire that in two in one week. And then I can revisit this particular strategy and do some adjustments to it. Now the upgraded version of Minswap V2 is written with Aiken and that allows for a lot smaller smart contract size so they can pack in a lot more functionality behind the smart contract. And one of them that they've put in is routing. Now routing allows you to trade from one token to another when there is no particular liquidity pool of those two particular pairs. So let, let me explain that for you. So if you are trading from uh, min tokens to gens, you need that particular liquidity pool there so you can trade between those two tokens. So if that pool doesn't exist, you need to trade from min tokens to ADA and then ADA to gens. So it's a double transaction that you have to do and that will cost you more in terms of your trade. But what they've done here with the brand new V2 is allow you to actually trade that directly uh, from the platform and they'll work out that particular, those particular hops that you need to do to make this trade possible. So I can go from min to gens token because that pool doesn't exist, but I, I had to create these uh, particular trading pairs with ADA. So now I can type in an amount of min tokens and trade that over for gens. Now min isn't worth very much on testnet here, so I do have to type in quite a large number. So there we go. So I've typed in the amount of min, I've get uh, 45 gens tokens out of that. And you can see the route here that it's taking. 
All right, so here we go. So now I can see the particular routes here. So this one has the most liquidity. It's going from min token to ADA to GENs. And this one here is going from min to USDT to ADA to GENs. So it's taking more hops. But the interesting thing here is that it potentially can give me more GENs tokens in the end. Now, I do believe that uh, in uh, choosing a amount of hops like that, it will cost me more ADA in regards to that particular transaction. So I'm just gonna test that out and see what this is going to cost. Okay, so seeing that the transaction difference isn't huge, so I don't really need to worry about it. So the difference, so we've got 0.231633 and the other one here, 0.234933. So a 0.03 difference essentially. So really, really small number there. So I don't know what that's gonna be like on mainnet, but it's things that you need to consider when you're doing these type of trades. Uh, in the future on MinSwap. So we do have multiple different routes. And if one of these routes gives you more of the token that you want and you can, uh, uh, and that, that particular fee isn't that much, then it's kind of worth it. So I really like uh, this particular uh, feature here. And uh, it, it definitely is something that is uh, worthwhile having within MinSwap V2. Now, one of the other features here that you'll notice, which we probably all will have to go through, especially if you have any liquidity locked on the DEX at the moment, is the migration from V1 to V2. So here I've set up some uh, liquidity pools with the GENS ADA in V1 smart contracts. I've got the MIN ADA in V1 as well. And I can click on that and start a migration process. Can I do multiple migrations? Nice, okay, migrate selected. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to migrate these to the V2 pools and this will convert your liquidity to the V2 smart contracts so that people can trade against that liquidity and have a, a cheaper, faster experience. And there we go. So now those LP tokens, that liquidity that is locked into the V1 smart contract will be converted to the V2 smart contracts. Now the market screen also has had a bit of a revamp. So if I click on min here, you can see this brand new interface and will lead you into what you want to do next. So this will give you a general overview of the particular token, a little bit of uh, information about it in general. But here now we can go over to the trade screen, add LP, we can share this, save it as a favorite, or we can use this really simple interface here to buy and sell uh, min tokens uh, quite quickly. So here I can click on 100, buy min tokens and click on buy min. This will prompt the transaction and this will use ADA by default to uh, go through the transaction and purchase that amount of min tokens. So I've just signed my transaction and there it goes. So it really simplifies that buying process and I like that particular approach because it doesn't overcomplicate it with all the other things that you normally do see on the trading screen where you can uh, choose your from token and your destination token and it was min in that case. So here it's reduced the amount of friction that you could experience when you're trying to do a particular trade. So I absolutely love that. And there's a lot of really cool tweaks and UI improvements in the MinSwap decks. And I highly encourage you guys to go through it yourself. Have a look at what MinSwap has to offer. There's a lot more than this. I've only just scratched the surface and I wanted to get you guys excited so you can give the MinSwap V2 a really good test, give the team some feedback and the more feedback they get, the quicker they can do those particular fixes and the sooner we can get V2 launch on the Cardano ecosystem. MinSwap do hold the majority of the liquidity on the chain at the moment. So the faster we get this out, the better and more efficient trading experience we are going to experience on the Cardano ecosystem. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're a big fan of MinSwap, make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.